Hey there, it's time for us to review just a little more with our digraphs, and we're going to add plural endings and some multisyllabic words. That means words that have more than one syllable. So instead of warming up with the sounds we're going to play with today, I want us to warm up with some syllable warm ups, okay? I'm not sure that we've done this a whole lot this year, so I want you to stick with me a little bit. We're going to go and do some syllable drills, okay? You ready? All right, say rainfall without rain. Fall. Say pinpoint without pin. Point. Say inside without in. Side. Say lifeboat without boat. Life. Say toothpick without tooth. Pick. Say watchdog without dog. Watch. Say offspring without spring. Off. Say airmail without air. Mail. Say soundproof without sound. Proof. And say whirlpool without pool. Whirl. Good. How'd you do on that one? Okay, I'm going to make it just a little bit harder. Here we go. Say normal without nor. Well. Say Monday without day. Mun. Say journey without jur. Knee. Say monster without stir. Mon. Say answer without an. Sir. Say lantern without turn. Lan. Say mustache without mus. Tash. Say number without burr. Num. Say factor without fac. Tur. And say caboose without boose. Cuh. All right, was that a little bit harder? Okay, we're going to go one more level up. Are you ready for a little more challenge? Say pineapple without pine. Apple. Say basketball without ball. Basket. Say afternoon without noon. After. Say ladybug without bug. Lady. Say motorboat without boat. Motor. Say gingerbread without bread. Ginger. Say newspaper without news. Paper. Say fingernail without nail. Finger. Say neighborhood without hood. Neighbor. And say butterfly without fly. Butter. All right. Good job. How was that? A little bit harder than what we normally do, right? Okay. Hope it wasn't too hard, though. Okay, so let's look at our um, lesson this time. Remember when we have our San Francisco Zoo rule um, words, the ones that end with the double S and the double Z, when we're going to make them more than one, okay, if we have one kiss, we spell it K-I-S-S, but if we have more than one kiss, we spell it K-I-S-S-E-S. -S. Same with buzz, okay, if the fly says one buzz, we just spell it with a ZZ, but if we're going to have more than one buzzes, we add the EX. And with the fox, okay, if we have an X ending, we always add ES at the end, okay? So sometimes we have to add an S when we make a word plural, and sometimes we add an ES. So let's look at these words. Now, the digraphs that we've that we've looked at, a lot of them, we just add an S to the end. So if we have more than one rock, we just add an S, rocks. We have more than one path, we just add an S, paths, okay? But if we have a word that ends with the CH digraph, church, we're going to have to add ES, churches. Oh. Churches, more than one church, we say churches, okay? Um, same with SH. So CH and SH, we add ES. So if you make a wish, one wish, you spell it with SH. If you make more than one wish, you make wishes with ES. Okay, here we have the CH ending. So bench, benches. You want to sit on a bench at the park. You hope that there are more than, uh, you, have, you hope that there are several benches when you go with your family. <sighs> Lunch. Okay, you bring your lunch to school, but when we go on a field trip, we bring a bunch of lunches in the big boxes. Okay, you have to add an ES there. Okay, 
So here we have some words that have more than one syllable, but they have digraphs in them. Okay, we follow our same rules though. Okay, so we have the WR, the W is silent. We have a, a vowel, we have another vowel. We so we look to my split, it's split in the wrong spot there. It's supposed to be in between the two T's. Okay. Remember, the second T goes with the second syllable. The first T goes with the first syllable so that it will make that I short. Okay, but it's silent. So we pronounce the C with the second syllable, written. Okay, you have written your words, I hope. Okay, here we have K-N with a silent K. We have an O and a Y at the end of the word. Okay, so it's a vowel. We have double consonants. Remember, we're going to split those consonants in between the two T's. It might be wrong on this one, too. Oh, no, that's pretty good. Okay, so the first T goes with the first syllable in order to make that O short. But we don't pronounce it with the first syllable. We pronounce it with the second syllable. And remember, the Y at the end of a two-syllable word makes a long E sound. Naughty. Okay, sometimes when your shoulders are tense, they get a little naughty. Okay. Oh, here's that L-E ending. We've got several digraphs here. We have that K-N digraph. Okay, that K is silent. Then we have our vowel. Okay, then we have C-K, final C-K for that syllable. And then we have another vowel. Okay, it's going to be silent, but it's part of that L-E syllable. Okay, so we split the syllable there. Okay, the U is short. And we put that schwa sound in between those two sounds. So knuckle, here's your knuckle. All right, good job. We're not gonna do any dictation for these, so we're just gonna read our words. All right, so let's just read our words here. Paths, bushes, dolphin, phantom, graphs, riches, unlock, written, sticks, benches, chicken, knuckle, Wreaths, taxes, pharmacy, emphasize, that one you'd have to break up just a little bit to pronounce, trucks, dresses, orphanage, photograph, okay, and echo me on the sentence. She wrote a letter to the orphanage. What did she send to the orphanage? Okay, the pocket watch was a phony. What was wrong with the watch? Okay, I'm going to stop my camera so we can read the other sentences. Philip snapped a photograph of the gnarly tree trunk. What did Philip take a picture of? And Wallace wants either a chimpanzee or a dolphin for a pet. Who wants a chimpanzee for a pet? Okay, be sure and look over these words. All of these words, you have all the tools you need to read them and spell them. Okay, you just need to pay attention to the rules. Good job. See you next time.